This is a health and safety announcement. Please do not worry about the coronavirus. There's nothing you can do about it. But you can help stop the spread of a much more dangerous virus or parasite which is infecting humankind at the rate of 350,000 new cases every day. And many of the people here don't even know what it is. The oxyribonucleic acid is spreading at the alarming rate of 350,000 people being affected by this every single day. And we call upon everyone here. We're never going to be able to stop it spreading completely. But we call on everybody here to work together to try and get the numbers down so that this deoxyribonucleic acid doesn't carry on spreading on and on and on. Deoxyribonucleic acid is basically a parasite that is leeching off humankind and all other forms of creatures just to replicate itself for evolution for no good reason. It's not going anywhere. I mean, look around here. This is four billion years of evolution. It's clearly not going anywhere, is it? So let's just call it a day. Yeah? Gentlemen, have a vasectomy. Do yourselves a favour. Do everybody else a favour. You can never be too young to have a vasectomy as far as I'm concerned. Your genetic code is no use to anybody. Nobody in their right mind would want to have your genetic code, right? Okay? So, you know, whilst we can't do anything about that at the moment, hold back with the reproduction. And when the technology's there, we can, like, you know, manipulate genetic code to take all the jealousy, anger, hypersensitivity out, all the bad illnesses. Do you know what I mean? We'll take out all the getting old so you won't end up like me. So for the moment, if you can find something else to do, get Netflix. I can tell you in the long run, getting Netflix is a lot cheaper and much less of a struggle. You know, I can't stop you, yeah? But if you don't take precautions, guys, you could end up listening to the following sound in about a year's time. Please, gentlemen, start talking about vasectomies. It's a really interesting subject for everybody. Everybody should be talking about vasectomies with their friends and family. You, sir, have you had a vasectomy? Man with a beard, have you had a vasectomy? Why not? You're going to get yourself into even more trouble than you're in already if you don't. You're already knee deep in it with them two. Yeah, you may say you, young people, but you wait. You'll be knee deep in it if you have any kids. And certainly your kids will be as well. What's this about? Oh, I love your mask. That's brilliant. Are you uh, are you trying to? Because um, actually, the mask is. Are you trying to stop the coronavirus? Is that the thing going on? Yeah. Fantastic. That's well cool. I do like them. There's, there's a. It's a really quite a nice look. It's sort of. Uh, it's a bit of an anonymous feel about it. Where you're. Yeah. Is there also a protest about that. Because um, really, the coronavirus is really nothing you need to be worried about. It's only killed 800 people, right? But. The virus you need to be worried about is deoxyribonucleic acid. Do you know about that one? You don't know about that one? Oh, they don't tell you about that one in the news because they make out that that one is completely lovely and fine. It's DNA. Of course, it's lovely, neutral DNA. No, it's not neutral. DNA got you girls into this mess in the first place. And we are asking you ladies to get with the paper masks. They're not going to really stop any of the coronavirus anyway. What you need is contraception, and you need it fast. No, not Viagra. No, contraception you need, and you need it fast. Otherwise, you're going to make the same mistake your parents made. And I can assure you, think about this. I assure you, every one of your parents must have considered at some stage that if they would have taken precautions at the time of them getting drunk on Friday night, they'd probably have a holiday home in the south of France right now. And they, what they've got is you, right? Don't tell me that is not a disappointment. Look around here. Don't tell me that you are not a disappointment to your parents. I mean, if your parents have got, like, any standards, this should be a disappointment, shouldn't it, really? Do you know what I mean? 
ended up in like some shopping place on a Saturday night because you get nothing else to do. It's pretty sad. Oh no, I'm here as well. Good point. Yeah, I am a disappointment to my parents as well, of course. Obviously, nobody would want their child to end up like this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't want uh, your children to end up like me, then the only way to make sure that doesn't happen is not to have any. Is not to have any. No, education is not necessarily going to help, unfortunately. The only way you can stop children from getting cancer, if you don't like the idea of children getting cancer, is by not having them. And then they won't get any cancer, wouldn't it? That'd be fantastic. Just leave them alone where they are right now and find something else to do. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not the coronavirus you need to be worried about. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. That is the substance that is spreading like wildfire uh, on this planet. 350,000 new infections every 24 hours on the planet. Uh, sexually transmitted parasite. And therefore, we urge you to take important steps as soon as possible and speak to your friends and family. This can be stopped through sterilization, contraception, abstinence, and, um, you know, creative practices. Guys, you just need to stay away from the cave of perpetual suffering. That's all. You need to stay away, right? However tempting it might be, I know that they can speak to you sometimes, I know. Of course, it's as if you can hear them saying, come in. Don't. If you don't ever enter the cave of perpetual suffering, you will never create someone that will basically suffer and die, which is what all of us, unfortunately, are going to do, aren't we? And many of us right now are suffering, aren't you? Many of you are suffering, I know. But you don't have to be suffering because you can go away and find something better to do. Surely there must be something that you could do. Thank you very much, Social Experimentalist on YouTube. Got some leaflets about sort of about what I'm saying. Have a wonderful evening, Brighton.